Now, let's see if you remember. Don't look in the book. <coughs> I have here now a column which is uh, 466 tons. And it has a transport cell here, and one here. There is the cell of gravity, nice in the center. Diameter, seven and a half meter. And so you have. <coughs> this is the column. How do I transport this unit? Uh, you question distance between the cells. Ah, good one. Yeah. <coughs> this is. Uh, I didn't put that in, but let's say. Uh, 40 meter long distance. What what trailer combination would you put? I have your all specialists, Dacro, Dacro tons. I have uh, VSL stronghold from Spain. I have uh, Altius uh, Agility. Come on, tell me. You are the specialist. I am a client. I am McNorton. <coughs> Falco, any idea? Where is Falco? Yeah? Huh? No? Start thinking. Let your brain start working. It's time now to work. One, one Matson? Yeah. Any idea? Yeah, possibly, only possibly because uh, we assume that this is uh, portable, right? What do you say? Portable? It's portable, I mean, it, it, it will not bend. No, correct. Okay. It's supported here to On these okay. cells. So we want to put something on the cells. Well, not too much weight, so I, uh, I would say we need a um, complete long combination of axles. So yeah. not, not like two vehicles or two platforms, two separate platforms. Well, uh, Matthias, I think, has another opinion. Uh, because he said, yeah. clearly, how far are the cells apart? Yeah. If you have 40 meters, meters settles apart and you want to put a trailer all the way around it, that's a very long trailer. Yeah, it is, yeah, I agree. That's yeah. not nice. <coughs> yeah? So I would, uh, if we have a diameter of seven and a half meters, so we can, I would estimate the total width of something like eight meters. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Uh, if we take one axle by 25 tons, if I combine two trailers next to it so that I get this fourth file thing, I have 50 tons per trailer, uh, yeah. per, per axle. Yeah. I have 200, 33 tons on each end. Yeah. So five per, per, per six. I need six axles of this double axle thing underneath each thing. So uh, what trailer do I put here and what trailer do I put here? Uh, yeah, this double. Uh, with this two trailers next to each other. Yeah, but be clear. Uh, that's why six axles. Six axles. Six axles. Six axles. You say six, six axles. axles. Yeah. Yeah. Say six axle lines yeah. because you're talking about double yeah. lines. Yeah. 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 So six axle lines, double wide. Yeah. Okay. And how much capacity is that? Three hundred tons each. Yeah. Correct. So two times six is three hundred tons. And you need two thirty-three. So nice, good. Okay. And how? And what here? Same. 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 Okay. I with you. All right. But now, what about turning? Turning. I need a turntable, huh? Eh? So I put the turntable underneath here, under the saddle, mm -hmm. and put it on the sailor so it can it can turn. All right, and now I put here a drawbar, and now I have to put a tractor. I'm having a problem here. But you're correct. How do you achieve to this? You say my load is 466. Divided by 25 gives me, what is the number? 19.7. <laughs> so roughly 20 lines is what I need. Line, 20 lines is not, a, not an equal of 4 or 6. Well, it's a 4, but then I end up with uh, 2 yeah. times 5 and 2 times 5, and then I'm really on the limit. I want some spare. So the next one up is 24 <coughs> lines. 
In other words, if I am in the middle, I have 12 lines here and 12 lines there. Now 12 lines, a single trailer, doesn't look good from a stability point of view. So your remark was correct, put them side by side, make a double wide trailer, at least you have some stability. Yeah? So, if I have 12 lines, it means 2 times 6, 